Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at factoring something new. This is the sum of two cubes and the difference of two cubes. This is a factoring pattern that we've seen that we did not learn the multiplication pattern to. So we're just going to present these two particular patterns. So the sum of two cubes follows the pattern a cubed or perfect cube plus b cubed the sum of two cubes can be factored into the quantity a plus b, the binomial a plus b, times the quantity a squared minus ab, so this a squared minus a times b plus b quantity squared. So we're going to have to be able to take the cube root of a number and that's going to go in that first term. So we have the sum of two cubes, a cubed plus b cubed. The cube root of a is going to go in that first position. The cube root of b is going to go in that second position. And then we have a trinomial that we're multiplying by. And then we have to square a and put it at the beginning. We have to square b and put it at the end. And then we have to multiply a times b together, and that goes in the middle. And this one has a minus sign here right after the a squared. You'll see that in the sum and difference of two cubes, the factored form, each factored form, has one minus sign. Well, the binomial will always take the sign of what our original problem is. So the binomial a plus b, well, because it's a cubed plus b cubed, we use a plus b. Here, in the difference of two cubes, we have a cubed minus b cubed follows almost the exact same pattern. Okay, The only difference is, is in the signs. So our binomial, again, we take the cube root of a cubed, so that gives us the a. We take the cube root of b cubed, that gives us the b, and we take that sign, this minus sign in our original problem, we just bring it over. Just like here in the sum of two cubes, we brought our plus sign through. Again, now each one of these has only one minus sign. So in a cubed minus b cubed, it has one minus sign. I've used it. I used it right away, right at the beginning. So then I know in my trinomial, it's all plus signs. So, sum of two cubes, our signs go plus, minus, plus. Difference of two cubes, our signs are minus, plus, plus. And then from there up, the pattern is the same as the sum of two cubes. I use the cube root of a, a cubed to get A. I use the cube root of B cubed to get B. Now I have to square A to get A squared. I have to square B to get B squared. And then a times b is my middle term. Now this does look, it looks like a PST here. Okay, this whole pattern, a squared minus ab plus b squared. But remember, the PST, the, the linear term, is 2 times a times b. And we don't have that. So again, this is not 2ab, therefore it is not a perfect square trinomial, but boy, it sure looks like one, doesn't it? Well, it will be helpful in factoring sum and difference of cubes to recognize your perfect cubes. Well, a perfect cube is a result of any mathematical expression that was raised to the third power, anything multiplied three times in a row. Okay, so I can take the cube root of a cubed and get a, I can get the cube root of b cubed and get b. So a cubed and b cubed are perfect cubes. In fact, any exponent that's a multiple of 3 is a perfect cube, like x to the 6th or x to the 9th or x to the 15th are all perfect cubes because x squared times x squared times x squared is x to the sixth, the same thing multiplied three times in a row. Okay, x to the third times x to the third times x to the third is x to the ninth. 
So x to the ninth is a perfect cube. And same with x to the 15th and so on. So any multiple of 3 is going to be a perfect cube. So even some quantity cubed, okay, or some quantity the 6th or some quantity the 9th, these are all going to be perfect cubes. So it's going to be important that you are able to recognize your perfect cubes. Okay, you'll have to memorize these. So we'll do what we did before. 1 cubed is 1 times 1 times 1. Well, that's still 1. And of course, the cube root of 1 is 1. Okay, 2 cubed, or 2 times 2 times 2, is 8. And the cube root of 8 is 2. Okay. 3 cubed, or 3 times 3 times 3, is 27. And the cube root of 27 is 3. 4 cubed, well, that's 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64. Or the cube root of 64 is 4. 64 is tricky. It's a perfect cubed. It's also a perfect square. 5 cubed is 125. And we know the cube root of 125 then is 5. And 6 cubed is 36 times 6, or if I'm not mistaken, that's 216. Okay and the cube root of 216 is 6. These are the perfect cubes you will need to recognize. 1, 8, and 27, 64, 125, and 216. And I could give you an easy one, like 10 cubed. Hopefully you know that is 1,000. And the cube root of 1,000 then is 10. So there are your perfect cubes. Please commit those to memory and recognize those. We'll do some sample problems following our patterns. x cubed plus 27. We have perfect cubes. Anything raised to a third power is a perfect cube. Plus 27 is also a perfect cube. So we know it's going to be a binomial times a trinomial. And we want to take the cube root of x cubed, which is x, and the cube root of 27 is 3. That goes in our binomial, and we just bring down the plus sign. Okay? So then we know we need to square x. Well, that's x squared. We need to square 3, because this was a squared and this was b squared, so that's going to be 9. And then we have a times b in the middle, which is 3 times x. And then it's plus, so we need a minus sign, so I'm going to put it right there, and plus again. So x plus 3 times x squared minus 3x plus 9. x cubed minus 64. Again, perfect cubes, so we're going to factor this. We're going to have our binomial times our trinomial. The cube root of x cubed is x, and the cube root of 64 is 4, and we're going to bring down our minus sign. So we've used our minus sign. So then we know our trinomial here is going to be all pluses. And our trinomial is going to be the square of each of these at the beginning and the end. So I'm going to square x and get x squared. I'm going to square 4 and get 16. And then our middle is 4x. And since we've used our minus sign, those are both pluses. And we have successfully factored that. Our third sample problem, again, all exponents here. It is a difference of two cubes. Each of our exponents are multiples of 3, so the cube root of x to the ninth is x to the third. The cube root of y to the 15th is y to the fifth. 
carry down my minus sign. Now I need to square x cubed. Well, x cubed squared is power raised to a power we multiply, so that's x to the sixth. And y to the fifth squared is y to the tenth. And our middle term is x cubed y to the fifth. We've used our one minus sign already, so those are both plus. That's our trinomial times our binomial. Sample problem number four, our fourth sample problem anyway. 125 is a perfect cube. 8 is a perfect cube. It's a binomial times a trinomial. I can put my signs in right away if I want. I Don't I know I'm going to bring my plus sign down? And then I'm going to have a minus and a plus, because I want to use my minus sign as soon as I can. So the cube root of 125 x cubed is 5x. The cube root of 8 is 2. That's 5x plus 2. Then I have to square 5x squared, or 5x, which is 25x squared. I think I'm going to take my signs out because that was kind of messy. So 25x squared and 2 squared is 4. And my middle term is 5 times 2 is 10. So I'll put 10x in there and it's going to be minus and plus. So my trinomial 25x squared minus 10x plus 4 times the quantity 5x plus 2. And in our final sample problem, we have 54x cubed minus 128y cubed. Well, 54 is not a perfect cube, and 128 is not either. But we have a common factor here. So remember the first rule of factoring. Let's take out that greatest common factor. I'm going to take out a 2 and that will leave me with 27x cubed minus 64y cubed. Now my left behind here are perfect cubes. So I bring down my 2. I'll do my binomial times my trinomial. The cube root of 27x cubed is 3x. The cube root of 64y cubed is 4y. I'll bring down that minus sign. So I've used my 1 minus sign, so now I know my trinomial is going to be all pluses. 3x quantity squared is 9x squared. 4y quantity squared is 16y squared. 3 times 4 is 12. That's my a times b. So we have 12xy. I've used my minus sign, so it's plus and plus, and now my factors are 2 times 3x minus 4y times 9x squared plus 12xy plus 16y squared. And there are your two patterns for the sum and differences of cubes. We'll see you in class.